Welcome back. Please share, subscribe, and comment. In graph theory, a branch of mathematics, an undirected graph is called an asymmetric graph if it has no non-trivial symmetries. Formally, an automorphism of a graph is a permutation P of its vertices with the property that any two vertices U and V are adjacent if and only if P, U, and PV are adjacent. The identity mapping of a graph is always an automorphism and is called the trivial automorphism of the graph. An asymmetric graph is a graph for which there are no other automorphisms. Note that the term asymmetric graph is not a negation of the term symmetric graph, as the latter refers to a stronger condition than possessing non-trivial symmetries. Examples the smallest asymmetric non-trivial graphs have six vertices. The smallest asymmetric regular graphs have 10 vertices. There exist 10 vertex asymmetric graphs that are four regular and five regular. One of the five smallest asymmetric cubic graphs is the 12 vertex Frisch graph discovered in 1939. According to a strengthened version of Frisch theorem, there are infinitely many asymmetric cubic graphs. Properties the class of asymmetric graphs is closed under. Complements. A graph G is asymmetric if and only if its complement is. Any n-vertex asymmetric graph can be made symmetric by adding and removing a total of at most n slash 2 plus o n edges. Random graphs the proportion of graphs on n vertices with a non-trivial automorphism tends to zero as n grows, which is informally expressed as almost all finite graphs are asymmetric. In contrast, again informally, almost all infinite graphs have non-trivial symmetries. More specifically, countably infinite random graphs in the Erdos. Rini model are, with probability 1, isomorphic to the highly symmetric Rado graph. Trees, the smallest asymmetric tree, has seven vertices. It consists of three paths of lengths 1, 2, and 3, linked at a common endpoint. In contrast to the situation for graphs, almost all trees are symmetric. In particular, if a tree is chosen uniformly at random among all trees on n labeled nodes, then with probability tending to 1 as n increases, the tree will contain some two leaves adjacent to the same node and will have symmetries exchanging these two leaves.